Would you rather have a penny today that doubled every day for a month or $1 million right now today? If you're like me, you probably went to high school and college, learned a lot about sedimentary rocks, photosynthesis, the quadratic equation, and you weren't taught about a credit score, how to get a job, how to interview, how to get a mortgage, how to pay tax, and I bet you weren't taught to trade stocks. Now, I wish they would teach about sales and the psychology and negotiation, but they don't. So my goal is to create short, informative videos to fill in those gaps and help you make wise financial decisions. Today, I wanna to talk about the power of compounding. So let's go back to that question. If you took a single penny and you doubled it every day, by day 30, you would have $5,368,709 and 12 cents. Now, chances are you're not gonna find returns like that anywhere unless you find the next Bitcoin. But the takeaway from all of this, start investing early and often wherever you're at in life. Really the biggest gains and returns always happen later in life. And the key to wealth in my opinion is delayed gratification. It's really not hard to become a millionaire over time. So for me personally, my preferred investment machine is real estate. But today I'm going to talk to you guys about 401ks and Roth IRAs. You may have all always wondered what's the difference between a 401k and a Roth IRA. A 401k is a retirement account offered by employers that gives employees a tax deferment on money that they put into an account. So part of each paycheck you receive will be put into an account that grows and accumulates interest over time. Sometimes an employer will match your contributions. At the age of 59 and a half, you can begin taking out distributions from your 401k, but those distributions will then be taxed. So going into the account, the contributions are tax-free, but coming out of the account, those distributions will be taxed. And also if you take out money early before the age of 59 and a half, you will also be penalized with fees. Now a Roth IRA on the other hand is a retirement account that you can personally set up where contributions or money going in is taxed. But when you withdraw the money, those distributions are not taxed. So when you're retiring and withdrawing money from your Roth IRA, it's not counted as a taxable income. You can use that to manipulate your tax bracket. So if you have other investments like a 401k and real estate that are bringing in income, that Roth IRA won't bump you up to the next tax bracket. Let's go back to that 401k. If you start saving at age 25, and let's assume a 7% annual return, which is a reasonable expectation over a long time frame, if you plan to work for 30 years and contribute $1,000 a month to your 401k, without any employer matches, in 30 years, you will have $1,270,840. That'll be set aside in your retirement account. Now that 1.2 million continues to earn a 7% interest every year. If you retire then, you can take out $88,958.80 yearly. Now that's pre-tax, but you can do that without ever touching or eating into that $1.2 million. That's just the interest. So the main takeaway from this whole video is to start investing now. Now, pay off all your debts, set goals to regularly invest small amounts of your money, and it's, it's never too late to start investing. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.